I was recently reached out to by a company called Terralax about trying out one of their um, newer styles of massagers. This company specializes in different types of massagers for your feet, your calves, things like that. And um, so I was really excited because they actually have reached out to me before about other styles, but they just weren't really something that I felt like was something that would fit into our lifestyle. However, this one talked a lot about um, foot pain, which would be typical for massaging, but also um, restless leg, which my husband has restless leg syndrome. And for any of you who have it or have a loved one who has it, especially someone that you have to sleep next to in bed, you might know that sometimes it's frustrating for them and for you. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? This sounds like something that would fit for us because it would be something that I think would be beneficial to my husband, but also to me just for the relaxation factor. This particular massager is compression. So it has compression and heat. And um, I will go ahead and show you videos. I'm just gonna tell you real quick about it though. Um, but I took some videos of my husband using it and myself, and I kind of explained some things about it as I was um, trying it out for the very first time. So pay attention to some of the things, details that I give you about things I noticed that I would do differently when I first go to do it, because sometimes you don't know until you try, right? I did want to give special note to something that the company did that I, or the particular um, representative that I was working with did um, for me because I was noticing when I was looking at the warnings for people who shouldn't use the product, it mentioned pregnant and menstruating women. And I was like, that's strange. Why would that be? And um, people with blood pressure issues, things like that. So I asked like, why, what are the reasons for that? And they actually emailed me back with an answer and said, the stimulation of certain nerves in the foot can encourage uterine contractions and cervical ripening in the later stages of pregnancy, which can lead to preterm labor. So it is important to first consult with your physician prior to using a foot massager. The two people that should use caution and or check with their doctor before starting to use a foot leg massager include pregnant women as mentioned above and also people suffering from nerve damage known as neuropathy as they cannot feel changes in temperature or pain that can ultimately result in harm and injury. Um, and it says, and uh, does not recommend using leg massage devices for anyone with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy, open sores, or very thin fragile skin. I thought that was great that they came back to me like that and let me know um, exactly what the reasons were why those people were listed as people who shouldn't use this type of product because it is compression it squeezes so think of like a blood pressure cuff it's kind of that same type of a thing and so if you're someone who can't uh properly feel the amount of pressure that's happening like with neuropathy or the amount of heat even though they're um it's adjustable this is something you would want to be aware of. And so I thought that was really awesome of them. So I definitely wanted to point that out because I feel like a company that takes the time to give you the answers to questions like that and be thorough with it, I think that's worth mentioning. So now let me take you on to, you know, checking out my brand new massager and kind of showing you uh, how it works and then some clips of my husband and I using it. And then we will come back and I will give you final thoughts. I am so excited because Terralax reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in testing out their full air leg massager. And um, not only am I excited about it for myself, but even more so for my husband. I just went ahead and cut. I haven't even opened yet, so we're going to open this together. Um, my husband suffers from restless leg syndrome, and he also has, um, he gets calf cramps like every night that you get him out of bed. And we have been trying for years to figure out what causes them, what can relieve them. So I am hoping that this will help him get some relief. So first off, I see the charging block here. So that's that. And then let's get this out of here. Down in the bottom here is our, so air compression leg massager. It's the user guide that will tell us how to use everything, which I am going to be showing this to you guys. Like as we use it, I'll show you how it works. Um, so that, you know, you get a good idea about it. And let's see what we have here. So these are the compression, um, let me pull them out here for you. So you can see like your foot is in here and it goes up in your leg and you put them on and you, um, Velcro, Velcro them around so that they're on securely. All right, and then in here is going to be the remote. 
so that you can adjust things, the power, the heat. So that's awesome too. There's heat, um, I believe it's just at the knees. So we'll talk about that and the different modes that there are. So I just wanted to show you um, how it comes packaged and what all it comes with. And now we will get on to the fun stuff. Okay, please pardon what I look like here. I just did a 45 minute workout and took a shower real quick. So um, this is probably gonna feel really good. So I wanted to go ahead and show you. It does show on the controller um, where these plug in left and right. So you know which one goes on which leg. It's pretty obvious because of the way the Velcro grows. But in case you didn't know and you're wondering, um, they do make that, you know, obvious for you. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and undo the Velcro here. There's a lot of Velcro, be aware. And then I'm gonna get my leg up in here. Now I have some short legs, so this is gonna be pretty funny. It is for your thighs too though, so um, it's good that it goes all the way up there. Woo, girl, all right. So I'm gonna strap in. I wouldn't wear something that could get snagged that you'd be worried about. So just to be aware of that. Honestly too, probably shorts would feel really nice in this because then you're gonna get, you know, for like the heat on your knee and that kind of stuff. Um, that would probably be really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna get the other leg strapped in and then we'll come back and see here. Okay, now that I've got everything on, I will definitely say make sure that you do not wear a slippery athletic material like this. It just makes it hard to securely, um, you know, get the straps on because it wants to keep sliding. So definitely wear something cotton or, um, you know, shorts so your legs are bare or something like that. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to use the remote here. So to turn the unit on, you are just going to hold the power button for three seconds. And then... Now, once it comes on, you can choose what mode you want. So pressing is the calf and foot, which is also the thigh. It does not say that, but it does tighten up around your thighs as well. And then um, if you push mode again, you're going to go to kneading, which is just going to be your calf and thigh area. And if you go to shiatsu, that is going to be just your feet. And it does heat up under your feet down there. It feels so nice. You can also choose the intensity by pushing the power button. So there's the first intensity, you can go up to two or level three. So um, you can just decide which one you like best there. And then for the heat, you can also choose how hot you want it to be. So there are three different levels of heat and or off. So you can choose whichever you would like. And then you just sit back and enjoy whatever uh, mode sounds best to you. So I'm gonna do that and yeah. Okay, so now that you saw the massager in action, I wanted to give you my thoughts on it after using it for a couple weeks and just getting a good feel for it. Um, number one, I asked my husband, what would you say about using this? Like, what would you describe it as? And he said that he feels like it's just something that's very relaxing after a long day on your feet. He is a technology director for a school district and it's, so it's between two buildings kind of three. So he is on his feet all day going from building to building and stuff like that. And I mean, down on his knees, fixing things and stuff like that. So he said that it was something very relaxing to him. He likes the heat feature of it. Um, he tends to be somebody who runs cold, you know, he, especially in the evenings when he sits down to relax, he gets cold. So that was something that he really enjoyed was having the heat element of it. And also enjoyed that there's the different settings where if he's not feeling like having everything be compressed, he can just focus on the feet or things like that. For myself, 
I'm not on my feet all day. I uh, I stay home right now. I am not currently working outside of the home. And so basically for me, it's more of just a relaxing pampering thing. However, I recently got back into exercising regularly and I'm doing pretty intense workouts um, that are very strength focused. So a lot of muscle building and on my leg days, this thing is so nice and relaxing for after I get done doing my workout and cool down a little bit. And then again, though, you don't have to have the heat on it if you don't want to, but it is such a nice relaxing element. So after my body cools down for a little while and I've drank a bunch of water and whatever like that, then I will sit down and have a little massage. And um, it is very nice on those, especially those leg days where your legs are just extra, you know, you worked them extra hard. Also, you saw you can do anything while you are, it does make a sound, but it's not horribly loud, like where you can't hear anything. So you can do things on your phone. I showed you I was crocheting while I was doing it. So it's not like you um, are tied to, like it's loud and you can't be doing anything else. You can watch TV. It didn't disturb, it doesn't disturb other people in the room if you're watching TV together, um, if someone's using it and things like that. So um, I just really have good things to say about it. We had a very great experience with it and um, found it to be relaxing and just enjoyable to use. And so I mentioned a couple things there about types of clothing you might wanna wear or avoid when you're using it. It is Velcro, so it is going to catch onto things. So be mindful of that. Furniture also, if you have threading and furniture that could get damaged, you're not gonna wanna sit on that furniture when you use it. So things like that just to be mindful of. So, this particular style of massager is $82.99 on their website, but they have given me a code to give to you for 10% off. So that will be on the screen and that will be down in the description box. You will find all of the information for this particular massager. The link right to it and links to a, a bunch of things from them. Um, that code, all that good stuff. So anything you want to know about it will be down there in the description box. And I want to say thank you to Terralax for sending this out to me to try. They did send it to me for free to try out and to give my honest opinion on. And so I am. I'm telling you the things that, you know, to be aware of. And then also the things that we really enjoyed about it. And um, they are not paying me though to do this. So I just want to put that out there. I'm not being paid to say anything about it. They gave it to me to try out and tell you what I think. So that's what I'm doing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing about this. Let me know if this is something you think you might want to pick up. Um, like I said, for my husband, I wouldn't say he's like said like, oh, my restless leg is gone or anything like that. But it is something soothing and relaxing. And so when his legs are being jumpy and stuff, it is something nice to kind of, you know, relax them. So, so I'm very appreciative of that. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye -bye.